I'll never forget the 2015 World Cup in Vancouver. It had been 16 years since we previously won back in 99. And to win that game with my teammates, and I scored three goals during that game, I mean, it was just, it was an unbelievable moment. It's, it's indescribable. I was just a typical tomboy who loved playing every single sport. I was always outside playing and I was super passionate about soccer. Everything was all about the ball. I started at the age of five. My parents just got me involved in Delrin AA, local in my town, and played for several years there. Eventually then moved to a travel team in Delrin played several years there. And then we had to figure out what was going to help me get seen for the college level. So my parents and I decided to try out for the Medford Strikers Soccer Club. And I was on that team from the age of 14 until I went to college. I got seen by hundreds of colleges all around the country. I also played New Jersey ODP, which is the best players from Maine to Virginia. Once you make ODP, you then can try out for the regional team. But it was the under 21 national team where I was selected to then go in and, and try out for the full women's national team. And that's sort of how my career evolved. You get to be a part of something that's sort of bigger than yourself, you know? You, you need to bring the best version of yourself, but everybody has to do that. And then collectively, you all have to come together. And so I think that's what's really cool is just kind of embracing each individual and each player as a unique and amazing talent. You never play a perfect game. There's always things to work on, so it's just fun. It's a lot of work and consistent work. You know, that's been the biggest thing. I, you know, made a vow to myself to never switch off. The minute I started with this team, I was going to work incredibly hard every single day. I was going to train harder than any other player in the game. Make sure I'm taking care of my body, ice baths, massage, and making sure that I'm eating well. During season, my week typically looks like a long aerobic run in the beginning of the week, followed by a session with my strength guy, another session on my own doing some skill work that, that I do daily, a sprinting circuit, and then that's all on top of my team training. So I typically usually take a day off. If we play a game on Saturday, I take Sunday off, and then Monday I kind of resume. I've missed out on, gosh, everything holidays, vacations, birthdays, anniversaries, just everything. I mean, there's really no time to switch off. But I've also had this unbelievable career and I've been able to compete in World Cups, compete in Olympics, travel the world, meet so many different people, have so many different doors open up for me because of this sport. So it's all been worth it. Never let an obstacle or failure hold you back. I look at obstacles and failures as an opportunity to propel you towards success. Embrace it, learn from it, work through it, and compete against yourself, work extremely hard, and just try to be better every single day and, and follow your dreams and goals. I'm Carly Lloyd, and this is The Female Lead.